Welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we'll dive into how you can effortlessly create and modify an entity relationship diagram from a SQL DDL script using Software Ideas Modeler. Whether you're a database designer, developer, or just keen on database modeling, this guide is for you. Let's get started. First off, let's create an empty ER diagram. To do this, click on the plus button located in the tab bar. From the drop-down list, select Entity Relationship Diagram. This action creates a blank canvas for our ER diagram. Next, we'll make use of the parser sidebar. Navigate to this sidebar and choose SQL DDL from the language drop-down menu. Now, let's bring our SQL script into play. Click into the large text area and paste your script using Control V. Our parser will now work its magic, turning your script into diagram elements displayed in the results list below the text editor. To populate our diagram, you can insert some elements manually using the Insert button, or insert all elements at once with the Insert All button. Let's click Insert All. Now, you can see our diagram coming to life, featuring a customer entity and an address entity linked by a relationship. Let's further enhance our diagram by adding a new entity called Store, which we also want to associate with the address entity. To maintain the model's ability to support multiple addresses for a single customer, we need a slight adjustment. First, remove the customer ID foreign key attribute from the address entity. Select both the address and customer entities, then click on Create Association Entity in the context bar. This action creates a new entity named Customer Address. Since a store entity should have only one address, add an address ID foreign key attribute to it and connect this to the address ID primary key attribute in the address entity. To accomplish this, we use the one to n relationship tool from the toolbox. Simply drag from the address ID primary key attribute in the address entity to the store's address ID foreign key. This visual representation precisely defines the relationship between store and address, ensuring that each store is linked to one specific address. After adjusting our model, it's time to export it back into a script. Navigate to the generation sidebar select SQL DDL from the language sidebar and choose SQL DDL's universal from the template dropdown. Hit the generate button. Our updated model is now turned back into a script. Sometimes we need to use a different schema than the default model one, such as the more typical DBO. To make this change, right click on the diagram canvas and select diagram properties from the context menu. In the properties dialog, check the custom namespace option and enter DBO into the text box next to it. Confirm your choice with the OK button and hit the Generate button once again. And there you have it. Our model, now tailored with the DBO schema, is ready to be seamlessly integrated into our target database. And that's how you create and modify an ER diagram from a SQL DDL script in Software Ideas Modeler. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Happy diagramming.